What's happening, YouTube's more motivation reactions back for another reaction video. So, so reacting to Shannon Sharp's workout and diet revealed at 55 years old. Let's get it. Yeah. And that's the thing, man. People always look at something that they cannot be or aren't willing to become and they assume that these people are cheating, these people are doing things, taking drugs, performance enhancement, steroids, whatever terminology people want to use to describe why somebody else is doing better than them. People always assume. Always. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's true. Six foot two, two hundred and thirty pounds. That's pretty insane. It's crazy. When people see anybody that's in better shape than them, they automatically assume they're doing stuff. Why not ask them what they're doing before assuming? Like, I don't understand how people operate. I, I really don't. Crazy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the bro split, man. Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. No. Yeah. Lots of high and high uh, interval, high intensity interval training here, CrossFit style, basically. It's pretty cool, though. She's three sixty five. Woo. Damn. Nice. That's awesome. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, pyramiding the weights up is tough, man. I always start higher and come back down. Reverse pyramid. I think uh, Kino Body does that. Yeah. It makes sense though. If you're going, if you're pyramiding all the way up to your heaviest weight, you may start at like maybe I don't know, 15 reps, and then the next set will be heavier, so 12, and then 10, and then 8, and then 6. So it makes sense to save failure. Yeah. The thing I like, the thing people need to be careful about what Jeff is doing here is like assuming everybody is going to train like you, he may not be focusing on the incentive because he may be training for something different. You know what I mean? Bodybuilders train a lot differently than athletes. Bodybuilding and powerlifting and CrossFit and strength and conditioning and they're all different. You know what I mean? So, knowing that Shannon Sharp is a f ex football player, his style of training will cater more to performance. You know what I mean? Even though he has size and muscle, he would do that, but at the same time, he's keeping in mind performance. So, he's trying to move the weight as as quickly as possible while controlling as much as possible so he's doing the rep quickly and holding it in a in a certain position then pushing you know what i mean that's what i've seen at least so jeff is describing a method that is better for bodybuilders to build the most size i don't think shannon wants to be bigger than what he is you see what i mean the reps are quick Yeah, because that's not his goal though. Buddy is 230, 6'2. He doesn't want to get bigger than that. <laughs> he still wants to be slender, lean, and be able to, you know, move effectively. Every, everybody in lifting thinks everybody wants to be a bodybuilder. No. No. Not everybody wants to be 250 plus. That's uncomfortable. Especially if you have to eat to maintain that weight. That's uncomfortable. A lot of people, it's not, it's not suitable for a lot of people. His look there is suitable for him. You know what I mean? That's why he's not framing in the style he's describing. Even though he would be genetically a great bodybuilder, he, that's not his goal. <laughs> it's, it's not his goal, I can tell. Yeah, that's the problem. He doesn't want to get bigger. <laughs> he's 230. He doesn't want to get bigger than that. I can just tell the way he's training. He's, that's not his goal. And soon you're going to hear what he eats. Like, he's not eating to be bigger. He's eating to keep the size that he has, but be as lean as possible while having that size. That's not his goal. He doesn't want to be bigger. <laughs> And that's the thing that's dangerous about training. Don't assume everybody wants the same goals. Fitness is, is strength and conditioning, calisthenics, bodybuilding, powerlifting, right? It's different things. So you train according to your goal, not according to what people think you should do. You know what I mean? I guarantee if I trained like a bodybuilder, I will not lift heavy anymore, I will eat a certain way, and I will focus on more contraction, slowing the weight down, uh, holding each rep, my muscle connection. But that's not my goal. That's why I'm not training like that. So, so the, the important thing is understanding what your goal is and training according to that goal. I just understand what Shannon's 
about you know, here and here, and our shoulder press is not so much that you can take advantage of great stretches of the bottom. You're not getting a whole hell of a lot of stretch to that bottom. There's, there are other shoulder exercises, namely that crossover lateral right now. When you press, I like to see you once again on your feet, especially because two things can happen when you're pressing from the bench like this. Number one, you can lean back, open. so as you're leaning back, you're just creating more of an incline press. But the thing about that, though, is like, I know what you're trying to say here. But when you're in that position, I know it takes away from your front delts a little bit and it involves your uh, upper chest more. But it puts you in a position where you're not going to hurt yourself, especially if you're pressing he weights that are heavier, which is actually not recommended if you're doing seated. But he's probably about to explain the standing version. Yeah. Yeah. And I like how he's holding it in the uh, neutral grip. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like uh, the leg leg extension. So it's just so bad for your knees if you do it incorrectly. It can be great to warm your knees up before squatting, but if you're doing it, don't load it up. <laughs> Use lighter weight and try to contract it just enough to get your quads, but not don't lock your knees out too much. Very clean eating, man. Very clean eating. And you know what's funny? A lot of people that look great have the same formula. So if you're struggling to, to know what to do, look at the people that are already succeeding and try to take what they're doing and implement it in your life to the best of your ability, to a way that you can sustain it. You know what I mean? Because it's all about making it a lifestyle, not a diet. Because diets don't work because they're short term. Bingo. That's that's facts, man. Crazy, man. Yeah, man. It's all about preparation. If you stay ready, so you don't have to get ready. Like, you know what I mean? It's just a way of life. You don't have to make it complicated. Make it in a way you can sustain it. Well, I'm going to stop there, folks. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more reaction videos. Definitely more to come. I appreciate this so much. God bless all of you. I'll see you next video.